So I know you were probably thinking that you're going to see some beautiful woman with freckles butchering rabbits because that's normally what you see, but I'm taking over this channel. This is now the Mark Show. So <laughs> Alice needed help butchering today, and uh, she's done it her way. It's been great, but there's always room for improvement and change. So what Allison would normally do is, this is my favorite cut. This is my absolute favorite cut, the, the bunny wings. But I only get two front legs. But then my second favorite cut is right here, the boned out thigh. Uh, am I saying that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still the thigh, right? Mm -hmm. It's the hamburger buns. Yeah, it's the thigh. So the boned out thigh, but what that ends up doing is it leaves a bit of waste. Because when you bone it out, you can never really get those shanks cleaned all the way. Because you can't get the shanks cleaned all the way, she ends up throwing it into stock and stuff like that. But my favorite part still is the Lillian. wings. Hey, Peach, hold on. I'm doing something. My favorite part is still the wings. So what I did, rather than trying to sit there and trim this, which you can never trim that shank well on them back legs, I suggested that when we bone them out, to leave all that shank meat on there so that way we could pair it together with my favorite part, the wings. And besides, this is one of my favorite parts too. If she doesn't bone them out, she leaves them whole. And I love nibbling on all of this. This is great, but I'd rather have it boned. So I'm gonna show you guys how I I boned them. So it's a little bit different. It's actually pretty much the same thing as doing a deer. You're gonna start right here, and it meets right at the kneecap. The kneecap. So we're gonna go right along. And I use a small knife. Allison will use this big, giant, giant knife. Sorry, honey, I think that's crazy to use a giant knife. So I'm just going to follow right along that bone as if I was going to be doing a deer. So kind of hit both sides a little bit. Bring it right to the knuckle. All right, spread it a little bit. Get both sides of the bone. It's a little tricky filming. It's going to go a little easier for you. Now, I'm leaving the kneecap on. Normally, Allison would trim right now and leave... I'm leaving the kneecap on the meat on versus the yeah, <clears throat> versus she would cut around it right now. I just chose to do that because I think it comes out a little cleaner. So both sides have exposed the bone. You see that nice and clean? All right now, I'm going to pinch. I'm going to put my fingers up underneath here. I'm going to pinch that meat, kind of just go and ride along that bone and cut. Picking it up now from the bone, just like this. You can even give it a little push sometimes. Now I'm just gonna kind of finish my job going around. You see that kneecap is still attached. I'm not gonna cut around it. I'm gonna cut right along the side of it. Same thing over here, cutting right along the side. So rather than trying to attach any of this meat on the shank, I wanna leave it. I wanna leave every bit of that that I can right on there. Spin around. This is why I like a little knife. I can manipulate it much easier. And then right along. Now you got a perfectly boned hamburger bun, honey. Thigh. Thigh. So can you take out those I call glands? it the butt. Uh, well, yeah, the little fatty gland. You take that out. No, I put it in the wrong bucket. So that's all set. So what Allison will normally do is she'll take this guy. She'll butterfly open a little Where's bit more. Kneecap? Oh, I didn't take the kneecap yet. Good point. So now you got me all mixed up. Here we go. The kneecap is still attached right here. Now, I'll just take that knife and just that little bit of trim. And that's it. That's my kneecap. Isn't that cleaner? Yeah, it looks nice. Way cleaner. Nothing okay. on here. And then from there. But barely. You see You see, I lost a tiny little niblet. Mm -hmm. So Allison would pound this. Oh, butterfly, some of butterfly the larger muscles. Butterfly and pound the heck and, out of it yeah, and, and then bread flat. and fry it. So that one's ready to go into that pile. But look what I ended up with. That. So how I get the bone separated, rather than treating it like a deer and coming across the kneecap, there's no need to. You just hold it by this and give it a little cut down and you can bend it backwards and give it a pull. Sweet. Look how clean that was. I wish I had done that a little slower for everybody. So it mm -hmm. left that one piece of kneecap right here I don't really care of you. No, that'll be fine. But look at that. But that is what I get to eat. Man, I hit the colander. Instead of wasting my colander time thing. trying to clip around it. I mean, would you <coughs> rather take that and deep fry that bad boy with a little bit of, you know, flour? Yeah, because I or mean. Or would you rather decide to sit there and that cut That chunk of hawk only ever goes into like our stew meat or our, um, our scrap meat bin. 
So if we can find another purpose for it, that's that's wonderful. What's the best purpose? I mean, that's that's meaty too. Yeah. So that's it. Do you like drumsticks or flats? What do you mean? Drums or flats? Because that's how the wings come. Like these, regular wings. Yeah, these are flats, aren't they? <laughs> I like them both. I don't like that triangular bone thing that's in coming this. off of the scapula. Is that what that is? Whatever yeah. it is, because I get it every single time. Well, they're that's... on every single one of them, and I can't pull it out. So yeah. But yeah, I, th I think Get I prefer it. that piece. That's probably my favorite piece out of all of them. So I guess we're having wings this week. So thanks for watching. Drop a comment in below. Say how much more you prefer this versus Allison's freckles. Bye, everybody.